Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang gagawin naman natin is we will convert decimal to fraction. So, this topic is part of a series na kung saan ang target natin is malaman natin kung paano mag-convert ng percent to decimal to fraction and pagkahalu-haluin natin yung topic na yan. So, ito ay topic from grade 7 pero alam ko, even the grade 6 has this kind of topic at kahit ikaw ay parent or kapatid ng iyong kapatid, you can also use this because this one is a basic thing in mathematics na kailangan natin matutunan. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here decimal to fraction. So I have here this one. The first problem that we have is that we need to convert 0 0.75 to a fraction. So again, I will teach you the step-by-step -step process on how to do it. So, copy muna natin yung ating example. 0 0.75. Ang first step na gagawin natin is to put 0 0.75 into the numerator. In other words, mag-create tayo ng fraction. So, gagawin natin, mag-create tayo ng bar sign. So, you have 0 0.75. 75. Again, ang first step natin is ilagay natin sa numerator yung 0 0.75. Ang second step natin ay maglagay tayo ng 1 sa denominator. Okay? The first step is to put your given decimal to the numerator at maglagay ng 1 sa denominator as your second step. Ang third step natin is to count the number of decimal places para maging whole number yung ating decimal. So, again, bibilangin natin yung number of decimal places para maging whole number itong numerator natin. So, we have 1 and 2. Again, from this point, 1 and 2. So, ano yung basis or ano yung use ng pagbibilang ng ating decimal places? Kasi, yun yung number ng zeros na ilalagay natin sa denominator. 1 and 2. So we have now 75 over 100. Ang last step natin is to simplify the fraction because that is not the final that is not the final answer. In this kind of topic, you need to simplify the fraction as your answer. So you have 75 over 100. We know that their greatest common factor is 25. So we can divide it by 25 over 25. And that will give you 3 over 4. Back it. 75 divided by 25 is 3. And then 100 divided by 25 is 4. So the equivalent fraction of 0 0.75 is none other than 3 over 4. That's it. For example, number 1. Ang gagawin nyo lang is you need to follow the simple steps that we have at hindi na kayo mahihirapan. Let us convert. Now, let's have item number 2. Convert 0 0.625 to fraction. Now, this one is quite different from the first example kasi kung hapansin nyo, meron na tayong 3 decimal places. Pero hindi siya ganun kahirap. So, gawin lang natin is you need to follow the steps na meron tayo for you to convert this kind of fraction. Una, you need to put the given decimal to the numerator. So you have 0 0.625 at ilagay natin sa numerator. Again, you need to put the decimal or the given decimal to the numerator. Siyempre, if meron kang numerator, maglalagay ka ngayon ng 1 sa yung denominator. Ang next natin, is to count the number of decimal places para maging whole number yung given decimal. Again, count the number of decimal places para maging whole number yung given decimal. So from this decimal place, you have 1, 2, 3. So ibig sabihin, if meron tayong nakuwang 3 decimal places, ilang zero ang kailangan natin ilagay sa, sa denominator? Tama, tatlo. So you have 1, 2, 3. 
Since whole number na yung ating numerator, meaning we can rewrite our fraction as 625 divided by 1,000. So ngayon, ang huling task natin is for us to simplify that fraction. So as you can see, obviously, uh, alam na natin, oh, those numbers are divisible by 25. Hindi na nyo naman kailangan agad uh, alamin kung ano ba yung pinaka, yung kanilang greatest common factor. Kasi minsan, kapag sobrang laki na ng number, ang hirap nang malaman yung greatest common factor. So, ang, ang advice ko lang sa inyo is kapag nakita kayo ng number na divisible siya, you can also divide, you can divide it. Tapos, kung napansin nyo lang na hindi pa talaga siya lowest terms, ituloy nyo lang yung pag-simplify. So, I will take 25 as the divisor. So, you have 25 and over 25. So, 625 divided by 25. Alam natin na mayroong 25. May apat na 25 sa so 100. So, 6 times 4, that is 24. Plus, is upon 25. Ang 625 I divided by 25, I equal kay 25. And then, for the denominator, sa 100, meron tayong apat na 25. Tandaan yan, eh. Pero, meron naman tayong 100 na 10 sa 1,000. Meaning, 4 times 10, ang bilang ng 25 sa 1,000 ay 40. Okay? Look at the fraction. You have 25 over 40. Still, we can simplify that fraction. So, ang last digit ay 5 sa kasiro, ibig sabihin, they're also divisible by 5. So, divide that in by 5 over 5. So, 25 divided by 5, that will give you 5. Right? And then, 40 divided by 5, that will give you the answer of 8. So, meron pa ba tayong pwedeng magawa para masimplify yan? Wala na. Ito na yung ating final answer. Meaning, the equivalent fraction of 0 0.25 is none other than 5 over 8. So I hope that the first and second example natin ay na master yun yung steps on how to convert decimal to fraction. Now, I hope na sa first and second example pa lang natin ay na master yun na yung steps on how to convert decimal to fraction. I have here the last example para mas lalo kayong maging aware on how to do converting decimal to fraction. So, ang sinetap ko rito, meron ng whole number at decimal. So, try natin. You have 4.45. Ilagay natin sa ating numerator. Tapos, maglagay tayo ng denominator ng 1. And then, ang next step natin is to count the number of decimal places for us to make or create the numerator a whole number. So, mula dito, again, mula dito, papunta sa right side, 1, 1, and 2. Meaning, we need to add 0 and 0. Pero, uh, may isa pang way nito kung paano siya gawin. Sige, yun na lang ituturo ko sa inyo. Okay? So, since ang ating given ay 4.45, ang pwede niyong gawin dito is i-isolate nyo na yung whole number. Ang pagtutunan, pagtutunan nyo na lang pansin ay yung ating decimal, which is 0 0.45. Okay? So, ito na lang ituturo ko sa inyo. So, we have over 1, and then bilangin natin kung ilang decimal places. So, 1 and 2, papunta sa right. So, we need to add 1 and 2 zeros in your denominator. And then, you can write your fraction as 45 over 100. And as you can see, the two numbers are divisible by 5. So, pwede mo itong divide by 5 over 5. At yung 45 divided by 5, that will give you 9. At yung 100 divided by 5, that will give you 20. So, meron ka bang nakikita ng Pwedeng ipang-divide natin to simplify 9 over 20. 
So kung wala na, okay na yan. But remember, meron ka ritong whole number na 4. So you can attach 4 here kasi whole number siya. So therefore, kapag napansin nyo ng inyong decimal ay merong whole number sa unahan, you need to expect that the answer is a mixed number. The correct answer or the equivalent fraction of 4.45 is none other than 4 and 9 over 20. So, dyan pa lang sa first three examples natin, sana na master nyo ng steps on how to convert decimal to fraction. So, for us to exercise what you have learned from this video, I want you or can I request that you need to answer this kind of activity. Convert the following decimals to fraction. Again, convert the following decimals to fractions. So, I hope na masagutan nyo yung mga given activity natin sa bawat videos na in-upload ko. Kasi, ang pinaka-target ko lang is for you to exercise kung ano yung natutunan nyo sa ating tutorial videos. So, again, if bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating future uploads. So, again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. And, bye-bye. God bless.